Who was that, Beer? Well, that was Gladys from the Homeowners Association. She wants us to sign this petition. Yeah. Apparently, our neighbor across the street has put up a pool. Well, why would she be concerned about that? Well, he said he was going to open it to the neighborhood, except for one hour a day to let the animals drink. I still don't see how that's anybody's business. Well, maybe she thinks it's cruelty to animals to let them drink pee water. <laughs> Tell Gladys our security camera covers her backyard. about him. Is there a problem? Oh, really? Well, sorry we can't help. Okay, bye. <sighs> so what did she have to say this time? Well, Apparently, she was trying to see what we know about the student who got his girlfriend pregnant. Well, that was just an April Fool's joke. He was just poking fun. Well, I'm sure his girlfriend didn't think that was funny. I bet she went right out and bought herself a pregnancy test. <laughs> Say, why do you have the purple streaks in your hair? Oh, that's a reminder. The happy, happy neighbor with the purple hair is getting married. Excellent news. I wonder if she knows the difference between a boyfriend and a husband. What's that? About 30 pounds. By the way, I was going by the tuba player's house, and I saw the realtor. He was there, so I stopped. What's he been up to? You know, you know the Costco that closed? He bought it, and he's going to store his pipes and tobacco there. Said he's got his eye on the Home Depot across the street. Wow. He's going to house his uh, cigars there. Oh, my goodness. Well, speaking of collections, nearly the entire community is going to Chicago for spring break. Hmm. I worked with a guy who took a job in Chicago. Really? What job did he take? He's a tail gunner on an ambulance. <laughs> Well, I really don't care for the wind there. It's, it's too windy for me. When there's that much wind, I get a whistle behind my eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. It's speaking of extreme conditions, our yeah. neighbors out west, to the yeah. west, they just got back from the North Pole. What were they doing at the North Pole? I think they were there to visit Santa Claus. Well, they put in a good word for us. <laughs> you know, I wonder what they ate while they were there. Mm, cold cuts, I'm sure. I think they even stayed at an ice hotel or something. An ice hotel? Sounds like scotch heaven to me. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh hey, what's wrong? 